Okay, y'all. <laughs> so, for those of you who don't know, this used to be a, a pretty popular craft. I never finished it beyond this point, but <laughs> it's a little... Um, I got real excited about it. It's a little... These are snack bags. Lunch bags. Um, growing up, my lunch was in this for many years. Um, I bound them, and you're supposed to come back and... I don't even remember how they were put together. Maybe glue. Maybe those uh, circle notebook. I don't know. I don't remember. But I thought, maybe this will work. Let's try it. So what I had to figure out was, I want an inch for my spine on the front cover. And an inch on the back. And then in the middle, I just measured what that's going to be. And I had to go the thicker part because this is compressed. I mean... Give me a break. It's been years. 10, 15, I don't know. Somewhere in there. And I just measured that. I need about a half an inch here. Now, when you get the um, the spines from We Are Makers, they come pre-made. This is a glue strip. That's going to be your part here. Right? Interior and exterior. Or exterior both. Sorry. Um, and, and your glue strip is going to be pre-adhered into the spine. And that is your your crease that you're going to... That's your front, glue, your back. Okay? But, that's why... Let me see here. you got to have more of these, right? you got to have more of the thermal cinch glue strips. Because if you want bigger than a quarter inch you have to add more glue strips, okay? And if you want to make your own covers that aren't these, then that's what you got to do. Um, now, for these, yes, you can buy them from We Are Makers, and currently they only offer them in this size, but you can get other sizes online, um, and I've provided links in the description. I haven't used any other ones, so don't, don't tell me that they're horrible. I mean, you can tell me they're horrible, but I cannot say that I have personally used them. <laughs> and, uh, so I'm letting you know they exist. I'm letting you know how to search for them, but I haven't tried them yet. When I try them, I'll let you know uh, how they work. Um, so half the battle is just being able to find stuff because we don't always know what the name of it is. Um, so anyway... That's what I did. This is how tall it is. I just have to cut that off. Now I can come back through here if I want to and use my handy dandy. I mean, we're, we're, I'm just pulling it all out today. My Fiskars paper edgers. I know y'all have some of these. I know you do. I know you do. I know you do. This is great. If you want to cut that, I'm not. It's. I'm just going to cut it today. Um, but you can. Now, i got to put my readers on. There we go. Oh, I miss the days of just being able to see. <laughs> anyway. So, now, I have scored it. I've done that magic. Should be able to put that in there. And it should look like it wants to. Again, when y'all put your stuff together, they only show in the videos... Where's that little clip? Their little gold clip, right? They're going to clip everything up here. They're going to make, make it look amazing up here. Use your dainty little clip. I think even this is too much for that. Anyway, you're going to need... You're going to have to get out Big Bertha here. Or bigger, depending on what you need. That's lovely. It's great for a planner. I don't think it's so great for this. But, you know, you get the idea. What you want to make sure is that whatever you're putting on that glue is straight and tight. And one thing that I'll say, and I'll, I'll keep repeating them as I do these videos. Um, when I saw them do the presentation in the UK, they made sure they they tamped that down. I've never seen them do that on We Are Makers. I've never seen them do it on American HSN. None of that. So, and what I mean is you just want to get that good in there before you put it on your glue strips. And you're going to put it in your machine. 
give it a zhuzh in your machine. And then when it gets out, do it again. It helps embed that glue while it's molten lava. You know, you're going to do that, okay? Okay? It's going to turn out better. Now, let's turn our machine on. Here's my machine over here to the side. Okay, I'm just going to hit this button. Oh, wake up, January. I'm going to turn the power on first because... Mm -hmm. Now it's going to start blinking. When it goes steady, it's ready. Lord help me. Anywho. <laughs> I'll get there. I'll wake up today. Alright. Now. Let's see if we can't do this pretty. just want to give it a little bit. Oh, this is what I'm doing. I'm just doing that slight. Now i got to get out my extra glue strips. Y'all are just working alongside me. So this is how it is. For me. So I'm going to take my extra little glue strip here. So this will take two. Okay. And I know they have that little space up there. That's alright. I'm just going to take it to the top. So. Just bring it up. And just a little, okay. Sit beside this one. Look at that, that's nice, right? Let me straighten that up. And this needs a little bit of zhuzhi. Are we okay? Maybe cut that one just a little. Are we good? Are we good? Alright. Well, it's telling me it's ready. And it does stink. The first that's the first time I've turned it on. It does stink that all that metal and stuff and they're burning off. Whatever it's burning off. Alright, get that going. Bring it up here. Good and sticky. Get it in your lines. Talking to myself. <laughs> and do this one. Okay. Share the space, people. Okay. All right. Look at that. Look at that. Golden. Alright, now we give it a good bend. And on this, you know, I just, I did it on my scoreboard. And, uh, that was easy that way. Alright, we're nice and tight up here. Oh, we need some stick them, don't we? It's not going to hold there just by grace. So, um, wow, that machine puts off an odor. I'm telling you, prepare yourselves. I mean, you're not going to pass out, but you're going to notice it. I mean, I don't think you'll pass out. Don't take my word for it. People want to, well, you told me I wouldn't pass out, and I did. I don't know. Maybe you will, but I think you'll be all right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold faith for both of us, okay? Is it too much sticky? Is it not enough sticky? I don't know. We're going to find out together. But one thing I do want everybody to do is get their stuff out of the box. Okay? 
You spend a lot of money for these things, get it out of the box. And I'm telling you that because I've done that. I've done that a lot in my life. In fact, confession, I have something still in a box that I've had for, you ready for it? Three years. <laughs> Three years. Yes. Um, and I don't know what my problem is. Isn't that crazy? But it will be tackled this year. Because um, I don't do that anymore. Get your stuff out. You spent good money on it. It's time to use it. Don't be afraid of it. Use it. You know, uh, I have, I've been so lucky to have people on YouTube show how to use stuff. Because half this stuff doesn't come with the greatest of um, documentation. Now, when you get this, you get this little diagram here. And uh, over on the back, it tells you. You know, you can cut them down. What you're going to do. How to add a ribbon. How to flip it over. Put it in there. It doesn't answer all the questions. They never do. They can't. I get it. Oh, I hope this works. Okay, well, we're going to turn it around so we do it right. And... The machine is just now becoming not so horrible smelling. But you know, it's got to burn off whatever it's burning off. I don't know what's on there. But everything's like that. If you don't think so, I guess you've never purchased a new appliance or anything because they all smell like that. Okay. Alright. This is the nervous part. Okay, so we're going to Try to line that up to the best of our ability and not get it cockeyed Joe. Plus all your hair. Uh, let's see. Maybe, maybe. Okay. Stick it down. Oh, that's nice. Look, I did a good job. I did a good job. And do praise yourself. It's good. Nobody else is in your room. Tell yourself you're amazing and you're great. Because you know what you are. You are. You are amazing. You are out there trying to create beauty into the world. That's, that's a wonderful gift. Keep doing it. Tell yourself how, what a good job you do. I wasn't raised um, in a household that did that. <laughs> Ever. So I had to, um, is that a hair? It sure is. There we go. Wasn't there. It's gone. Magic. Um, I wasn't raised in that household. I've had to learn to do that for myself. So, so do it for yourself. All right. Fold it over. Snug as a bug. All right. We good? We good. Look at that. Look at that. We did that. All right, I'm telling you, pounce. All right, let's open our machine here, and we're gonna put it down, and we're gonna hit the timer. It's blinking. Can you see it? All right, it's blinking. Okay, now I feel like I can breathe. I do that a lot. I hold my breath. It's not great for you. Um, anyway, so yeah. Trying that little experiment. And I've got to, look at this. Since I already did that, i got another one ready to go. So I can make a tiny little notepad. And you know, that's what I want to encourage y'all to do too. I, I've heard some people get really frustrated with this machine. Thinking, oh, they got to create so many big things. they got to, you don't. Create some little notebooks um, for yourself. Toss them in your bag, your purse, your car, whatever. Have them by your bedside so you can record those great thoughts you, you wake up with. Throw them in your kids' bags and so they can have a space to have some great ideas and share them. Um, I think it's great, you know, but there are some challenges with this machine. Um, 
you're not, it's not meant to lay flat. Remember that. And I know that's, that was a question I asked when I first saw it was, is it going to lay flat? And they answered me. I'm going to put the answer on here straight from them. This answer is not from me. I couldn't find where they replied to me, but they replied to somebody else who had the same answer. So that is, it's not me. Um, but you'll see it's, it's not intended for that. It's going to have a slight curve to it. And I'll show you, well, I'll show you in a second. It's going to have a slight curve to it. If you, I've seen a lot of people get theirs out. Oh, it's done. Now what do we do? We take it out. What I tell you? Pounce. Get that glue in that mess. Get it. Get it. And now we're going to put it over here. Stand it up. And we're going to give it five minutes. Okay. So we're going to give it five minutes to cool. Don't forget your pouncing. I'm telling you. Anyway, um, it's not going to stay open. I saw somebody make one and they they opened it, and they're very frustrated because it's falling out. Mm -hmm. it, it's not made for that. That's not what this is. There are other things for that. However, and but there is a hack. There is a hack that you can do it. It's not something uh, we are makers puts out. Or says this is how you do it I have not tested it yet I'll do that and then I'll show it but there is a hack and that's what I'll be doing to create mine because I wanted to create some journals and things like that and to do that I want to lay it flat now this stack here um, I'm going to create another one to show y'all and um, I'll just go over some of the things that, that I have learned from We Are Makers. So when you get these, as I said, these, you receive the spines that are the quarter inch pre-scored glue in the middle, okay? And these that you receive can hold 25 sheets of cardstock or 50 sheets of copy paper, regular printer paper, okay? Um... I'm trying to read my little notes here. It takes two minutes in the machine and then five minutes to cool. You can do up to one and a half inches wide, which would be 300 sheets of regular paper or 150 sheets of cardstock. Okay. Now, and that's a lot. And, uh, on my, my eye on the time here. There is something that I want to show you. I have an old machine that I didn't even know what it did. Okay? I didn't know what it did until this machine came out. Let me get my old machine. Hold on. So somebody gave me this because I love gadgets. Every gadget under the sun. And I do a lot of... I've done book binding in other ways before. And they gave me this. Okay? It's an old Avery first impression. The desktop bindery. And it literally shows you what to do here. Now one thing I really like about this one is it's got these measurement markers. Do you see that? Anyways, it's the same deal. You see this? It's got the, the plastic. And there's a metal plate down there. And here's your cooling rack. Same deal. This is a professional business item. Now, my that machine came with these little binder books. Okay, pre-made. And you can buy these online at Amazon. You can use this in your thermal cinch. See that? It's got the cover. The glue is on the inside, and then it's got a back. This one is um, one eighth, okay. And it's got the back cover, and I have different sizes it came with. I have had this for five years. I've never used it because <laughs> I I never took the time to figure out what it was. I moved during that time, and it just got lost by the wayside. 
but I had to have a class recently. I'm a real estate agent, and we have to take a continuing education course every year. And um, and I thought, I mean, this is this is the book. It's a lot of papers. I thought I'm going to go buy that. Look at it did beautifully. Look at that. And does it lay flat? No. Am I going to try it? No. But look, it's lovely. It does just fine. Okay? It does just fine. And I love that. And now when I keep that on my shelf, because I do, because I'm a study nerd and I refer to things, I can put a label right here, what year that was from my class. Doesn't that look pretty? You can do that. So, yes, I'll link to these covers online. But, oh, I was going to show you. What I like about the this one, see that there with the, the sizes? You can literally put it in there to figure out what size you need when you're doing your paper. I like that a lot. It takes out a lot of the guesswork. So, but that's a professional binding machine they sold for companies and businesses. and It's the same machine internally, okay? We Are Makers just made this one. Super cute. All right. Here we go. Is it warm? Nope. It's good. So let's take off. Y'all. Serious. No. Oh, it's got, oh, I thought it was colored. <clears throat> All right. It's bound. Is it coming out? No. It's good. The glue's in there good. Look at meshed in there good. Yeah, it did. I'm happy with that. That's perfection. If I bounce, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it, y'all. I'm not going to bend this all back to prove. There's nothing to prove. I know that that will probably pull out of there. So I'm going to respect its boundary. Okay? However, in but look at that. Happy as a clam. <laughs> where it went down there that divot that's okay that's what stickers were made for but look at look at and that opens just like a that's what they say it's like a paperback it's not meant to lay flat and that's fine i don't need this too it's got my little pockets i can put my stuff in i love this so now i'm more likely to finish this look at that i've made more pro more progress than this so i'm good <laughs> all right I hope that helps y'all. Thank you for coming by. Thank you for watching. I love to read your comments. I appreciate them all. I appreciate each one of you. When you do good, tell yourself you do good. You did something good. You're putting beauty out in the world. Keep doing that. Put love and kindness on repeat, y'all. See you next time.